old-fashioned digital watches. Who remembers them? I know. Let's build one from a kit. Everybody remembers watches. I don't know how many kids these days wear them, but um, there's mine. Standard LCD. This one is solar powered of all things, and I've had it quite a few years now. What can I say? It's a watch, but who remembers the old LED watches of years gone by, where you could only have them on long enough to see the time, otherwise the battery would go flat in no time at all? Which is what we've got in the bag on the desk. Apart from a pretty pink Velcro strap, and what else have we got? A set of installation instructions. Welding the resistor crystal oscillator and capacitor. Oh, we've got to do some welding. I wonder if soldering is the same thing. Soldering. Yes, Chinese welding. So we've got a page of what could have been A4, but has been shrunk down to A5. No problem. A bag of components. We don't look like there's much in here, but they have supplied us with a battery, which is quite nice. Right, we have a small seven segment display there. So that's easy enough to do. This is the the case. Um, will I need to do that just yet? No, because I can put the board in after I've done the bit. So I can put the strap there, put the battery there. Let's have a look at this circuit board. So there's very little on this board that I can see, there's not really a lot of components at all. The silk screening is, is reasonably nice. You've got two buttons, which are these two, obviously. Uh, three resistors, three capacitors, the solder blob's mine, a little crystal resonator, and two chips. It says welding the resistor crystal oscillator and capacitor first, so we'll do that. Let's get the welding glue, the electric glue ready and we'll follow the destructions. So the crystal goes up the top there, the resistor, 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 there. If you remember digital watches leave a comment the old led ones if you've still got one then wow i think my first one was a timex and it was uh yeah red leds they were all red leds um god that must have been 19 1980 81 something like that or was it even that late might have been early or late 70s just shows how old I am, really, doesn't it? 11 minutes later. And that, by golly, is that. Let's stick a battery in it and see what it does. Oh, I'm going to turn the lights out. Ah, it's all dark. Oh look, you can see my lava lamp bubbling away. Do, 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 do. Install the button, press two buttons for the restoration of circuits at the same time until it shows 12. So press the two buttons at the same time. OK, we're back and it's finished, but it's not. Let's have a look at the bench. As you can see, it's broke. When I took the paper, off the acrylic there were cracks in the small pieces of acrylic and the reason for that is because they're actually cut far too close to where they join that's not even the right piece that is now i could sit here with super glue and try and fix them all that would be an option but then you come across another problem the screws they give you to hold it all together are actually too short. You can't actually fit the thing together because, where is it? Um, that's one of them. 
you have so many layers of acrylic and then the nut is meant to fit in the second to last layer and poke through. Unfortunately, this is it's about three or four millimetres too short. So what's that? Eighth of an inch too short. It won't go together no matter how you try. The other thing that is wrong, let's have a look at the strap here. There is no way that this will fit anything other than a child. Even if I try and make this strap as large as I possibly can, um, which is about there, there's my watch with its strap. There's this watch with its strap. And I've got to say, I don't think that this is going to match anywhere near my arm. Can I recommend this kit as a watch kit? No. As something to throw together, it does work. It is actually keeping time. So I'm not complaining about the timekeeping on it. 220, 221. So yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit out, but that'll be what I've set it at. But as a project, it, it works, but you can't put it in the case. So if you want a push button LED clock, for whatever reason, then by all means build one. For now, I'm going to say goodbye on this one. If, if you like this project, give it a thumbs up. If you like my style of video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, push the thumbs down twice. Go on, just, just twice. Click once, then click again. Absolutely perfect. If you like my videos, please subscribe, ring the bell, get all the notifications, blah, 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 blah. You know what they all say. But thank you for watching, and if you want to watch any more of my videos, they will come up on this end card. Um, let me see which way they'll come up. They'll come up over there. So, yeah, watch the Sonic Clock video. That'll be a good one. I'm going to put that one in there, and that's how you fix a Grundig LED clock. Thanks very much for watching. Hope to see you again soon on another video. Bye for now.